Have you ever had developer's block? It's like writer's block but for game developers. I've had it, and let me tell you, when you hit that wall, you literally can't think of anything useful at all. Luckily, us humans have a weird ability to absorb things we see and hear, and our brains can then interpret them into all kinds of weird things. On top of that, humans can also be the ones to create those things you see and hear, which makes it a bit like an infinite loop, I guess. Sometimes though, looking for inspiration can lead you down dark psychological tunnels in your mind, which sounds scary, but if you're looking for some inspiration to make a spooky horror game, then that sort of thing's going to be right up your alley. So here are six ways to find inspiration for your next game. Although it may not be apparent to some of you out there, I absolutely love Las Vegas. I go there all the time and I love it. In fact, I even run another channel which is based solely on Las Vegas content, but this is a game dev video. So how does Las Vegas fit in here? Well, it's more about travelling than Las Vegas itself. Travelling can help you open your eyes to the wonders of this world and they could reflect on your next open world game. Using Vegas as the example again, it's surrounded by desert and the things I've seen in the desert when I'm driving around is incredibly inspiring. Flying over all sorts of countries and seeing all kinds of terrain is incredible. Vegas again, when I fly there from London, I fly over Greenland and Canada and the deserts and everything. Believe me, it's a wonder to behold and it is truly inspiring. So the next time you're sat around looking for ideas for your open world game, think about your last vacation and what you saw. This one is probably a tiny bit hypocritical seeing as I don't actually do it that much anymore. But reading books can be a great way to inspire yourself. Let's take some incredibly fantasy based books like Lord of the Rings and you want to create a fantasy based game. Well, reading such books will no doubt have an impact on how your mind wants to create a game. The events, the characters, the names and scenarios in all kinds of books can open up a whole new world of ideas for you and your game, even if it's a book you've already read. Like for me, I've read the Bioshock book twice now, I read it a few years ago and it can still present a wealth of ideas. Actually that Bioshock book was pretty good. It was a prequel to Bioshock and how it came to be the dystopia that we all know was Bioshock. I might read it again for some ideas actually. I'm not much of a movie buff, I'll be honest, but I sure know that movies can be an incredible source of inspiration for almost any type of game. Let's say you want to make a crime based game, well why not go and watch Goodfellas or Casino? Or if you want to make an escape room style game, go and watch Home Alone. Yes, Home Alone has been an inspiration for me, believe it or not. Anyway, there are so many movies out there which can inspire you. Pay attention to their style and direction too when you're watching. And if you've already watched a movie, well why not rewatch it again with the sole intention to look for inspiration in it? You never know what you'll see in the background. And actually, the 80s and 90s movies with Leslie Nielsen in were notorious for having things in the background. Try and spot them. But if you're trying to find inspiration in American Pie, then honestly, I don't think I want to know what sort of game you're trying to make there. Similar to general travelling, you should try a city break. Rather than go around travelling on a plane or looking for inspiration in far out places like a desert, why not just take a city break and exclusively wander around the city? If you're trying to make a city based game like Grand Theft Auto or Watch Dogs, then being in a city of a given amount of time is going to inspire you one way or the other. Study the structure of the buildings, the architecture, study the behaviour of people, they're your NPCs, study the layout of the city, is it like London or is it like New York? Go inside some of these buildings and the shops and study their internals and you can put together a cool city game in your mind and then transfer it to your game. Listen to the sounds that you hear and the effects that you see like the steam coming out of the vents. A city is a wonderful place to find inspiration, especially a bustling one. Do you like to be alone? I know I prefer it. 
Do you like to sit? Well, I definitely prefer sitting than standing. And are you afraid of the dark? I'm not, and hopefully you're not either. But sitting alone in a dark room with your thoughts can help inspire you so much. In fact, that's exactly how I got inspired and designed my game The Demons Inside, which is my scary survival horror game, that's what it's based on. If it's dark and quiet, you're free to just sit there and think of all crazy things for your game. Clear your mind of everything and focus on the game. You'll be amazed what you'll think up. Sometimes it can even happen in bed. It's happened to me a few times. Game inspiration, that is. Sure, this sort of inspiration is aimed at more spooky horror and scary games, but you never know, it might work for anything at all. Why not give it a go? Music is one of the greatest creations of all time for mankind. It can invoke so many varying emotions in your heart and soul, and I know that sounds cheesy and pathetic, but honestly, music has been scientifically proven to be beneficial to you and your mind. Well, I guess the right kind of music. What is the right kind of music? Well, obviously if you're feeling down and miserable, don't go listening to heartbreaking songs, it might just make you feel worse. But uplifting and happy songs can bring an incredible amount of inspiration. But that's not to say that negative songs don't bring inspiration, I guess it depends what kind of game you're building. If you want to sit and listen to the entire back catalogue of Blink-182 and be inspired by it, then you're going to end up with a weird and awkward game like Leisure Suit Larry. But go and listen to Imagine Dragons back catalogue and you'll end up with a game with massive amounts of crazy inspiration. I'm not saying Blink-182 is less inspirational, because it's not, it's just whatever you prefer. I've mentioned before how AFI is one of my biggest inspirations. And even now, they still inspire my game development journey. So, whether you do love Blink-182 or Ariana Grande or Slipknot or Pet Shop Boys, then the next time you're listening to some music, just stop and think and see if you can hear any inspiration mixed in there. So, there were six ways that you can find inspiration for your game. Inspiration can hit you at any time and anywhere, and when it does, Write it down in your notes on your phone, or send yourself an email, or send a WhatsApp to your partner to remind you. There's obviously tons of different ways that you can find inspiration, and you're definitely not restricted on it. In fact, I'd say there's an infinite number of ways to find inspiration, but those were six of the ways I find it. What sort of ways do you find inspiration for your games? Maybe you're an avid sports fan and find inspiration in that. Oh, unless you're a Raiders fan like me, that's not very inspiring at the moment. Anyway, let me know how you find inspiration in the comments below.